My website's www.mollycampsey.com and I'm a curve model. And my friend was like, you've put on a bit of weight. <laughs> Did you ever think about doing plus size modeling? And I went to an agency there and they signed me straight away. And then I was on my first commercial like two weeks later. I had no idea what I was doing <laughs> and it was so scary. I would love to see like a curvy Victoria's Secret show or just a lingerie show. <laughs> Went from messy undone lob, messy fun, wavy, cool girl, not trying too hard kind of vibe. There genuinely isn't a day that goes, <clears throat> that goes by when I don't think about different kind of something that I can do to like help the charity more. If anybody says what's the best shoot you've ever done, it's always the Fashion Targets Breast Cancer. To feel like I was actually doing it for a proper reason that's you know very close to my heart and personal to me as well, mm -hmm. made it all the more kind of three-dimensional. Well, I'm at university, yep. doing French and economics. Ollie's not really a bright spark. Well, what's the point of learning a different language? Just to be like completely submerged in another culture. Uh, but everyone speaks English nowadays. I think I might have to dumb myself down for Ollie a little bit, in a nice way. And when all the girls would go out to all the kind of VIP clubs, it was just all black, all black for leather heels, red lips. Oh, it sounds amazing. Yeah, but it's great for when you're like doing your wash, it's just all black. <laughs> and they have this amazing vintage store there called the Kilo Store. Okay. And it's in the Marais, it's like the Jewish Quarter, and it's this Aladdin's cave of vintage clothes. Wow. It's incredible.